this year. Um, as many of you probably know, I put out a Skyrim holiday season video every year, and I put that out last weekend, and I hope you enjoyed it if you watched it. Um, but uh, this is another one of my favorite games to play during the holiday season, and this game is Guild Wars 2. Yes, Guild Wars 2, the MMO uh, that I've played for quite a number of years now. I did another video with it actually earlier in the year during a different festival in the game. Um, and uh, Guild Wars 2 always goes all out with their festivals. They really do a great job and their holiday season festival is no exception. This is the Winter's Day Festival, that's what they call it in Guild Wars 2. And uh, they dress up this city, the Divinity's Reach, which is the human capital, with all kinds of cheerful, cozy, beautiful holiday decor, and make it very festive. So I thought it would be really fun to go for just a, a relaxed wander, you want a little tour of Divinity's Reach and all the beautiful best of stuff they have going on here. So uh, sit back, relax, and let's check it out. So um, we're starting in uh, what I affectionately call the Cool Kids Club, which is basically just sort of a little premium area that you can pay to access if you want. It's got a lot of convenient vendors and that kind of stuff. But um, the base game actually is free to play. Uh, you can go download it and try it out. Oh, not even just try it out, but you can play the entire core game for free if you want. Um, and on that note, actually, we do have a, a guild um, for this community uh, run by and run for members of this community. Um, and if you're interested in checking that out and playing with us, we do events every once in a while. <laughs> and uh, it's a great way to, to find some people to play with. So you can check that out on our Discord, which is linked down description, uh, the Guild Wars channel there has everything you need to get started with us. But, um, yeah, the Cool Kids Club here is all done up with all kinds of delightful holiday decorations. I love this snow globe with the snowman inside. And up in the sky, above everything, and what you see there is Tix's Infinerarium. <laughs> it's a giant floating um, golem, basically, that belongs to a sort of a mad scientist toy maker named Tix. We'll actually go visit him in a little bit. You'll see what he's all about. But um, that's part of sort of the, the story of Winter's Day here in Guild Wars. And uh, you can go and fight against a bunch of his toys that have kind of gone haywire. This is quite the character here. Wow, look at her floating witch's hat. That's intense. It's like a apparition or something. Um, all these people around us, of course, are real people, um, and, you know, these are their, their armor, their outfits, their aesthetics. Well, not all the people, this, this one here is an NPC, but these are real people. <laughs> and, uh, this game is all about the fashion, ultimately the end game is, is a cosmetic based, more or less, so, people affectionately call the game Fashion Wars too. Speaking of which, this is me. This is my character. 
and I've dressed myself up for Christmas or for the holiday season. Um, to look kind of Santa Claus-ish, I suppose. Got the candy cane weapons, the hat, and all that stuff, even the sack of toys on the back. And uh, this little fellow right here, this is my mini pet. He's a little golem. His name is Oo Tron. He's very cheery and festive as well. Um, someone else is a little Oo Tron over there. Um, and uh, of course, gotta match the, gotta match the uh, the mount as well. This is my raptor, also dressed up for the holidays. My favorite thing about this raptor skin is the little mittens. Look at the little mittens. Aren't they adorable? A little claws poke through his little mitts. <laughs> and, uh, and the bow on the tail is pretty cute too. Uh, the hat is pretty cute and the bells. Oh, and the scarf. I don't know why I love it all. It's all very cute. Oh, he gets the scritches. He's a good raptor. Um, but we will get off the raptor just to facilitate a calmer wandering experience. Um, and we'll go back into first person because I like that perspective for wandering around in games. Uh, now, I will remind you that because all these other characters you see about are other players. Uh, I can't really control the experience. They might be jumping around or, you know, running at us or whatever. I don't know, doing things that aren't super relaxing, but uh, hopefully they're not too distracting. If anything, they're kind of badass. It's kind of cool to see how other people have done up their characters, what kind of cosmetics and armor combinations they're using. This person looks straight up badass. Um, and I'm sure we'll encounter some other people here that are dressed up for the holidays as well. A lot of people do that. something. <laughs> 
person has a festive raptor as well. Oh my gosh, I had another one. This person's weapon is so extra. Look at, what is this? Is it a candelabra? I don't even know. It's like a mace. Candelabra. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, this is uh, Drubert. He's a ghost quaggan. Don't mind Drubert. He's around every every holiday event. Um, yeah, so this is the Crown Pavilion, which was actually originally when the game launched. It was a big sinkhole that had opened up in the city here, but it eventually got converted into this kind of um, event hub. And uh, at certain times of year, you can actually jump down into it, and then there's stuff that goes on down in the bottom of the Crown Pavilion, like uh, events of various kinds. Oh, we can get a good look at the raptor and its little mitts here. Oh, this person's dressed up for the holidays. Look at her. She's got a sweater on. And uh, another toy sack. I don't know where she got that one. That looks better than mine. <laughs> the animations of the mounts are so good. They're so good. <laughs> they bring so much life to the mounts. I said it in my last video and I'll say it again. The mounts are easily one of the best parts of this game. Each one is unique. This is a giant snowball, oh gosh. <laughs> Almost got flattened. That's actually another player uh, just transformed into a giant snowball rolling around, because why not? So many decorations. We've got the Christmas lights, these beautiful star-like lantern things. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot to see and do at this time of year. You can uh, build snowmen in these big snowy patches and uh, get more snowballs there too. This uh, takes you to, uh, to the Bell Choir event, which is kind of a multiplayer, almost like guitar hero kind of. <laughs> it's a weird description. They're like rock band. There's like different lanes, eight different lanes in different colors, and notes come down them at you, and you have to press the corresponding number keys at the right time. But you're doing it with uh, two other players as well, and all together you play a song. It's kind of fun. This is a mount race where you can mount up and do a circuit around the city. And um, it takes you kind of up and down and throughout Divinity's Reach, which is quite a large city, as you can see. Um, I'll take you guys to the upper city in a little bit, because it's beautiful up there. It's not really decorated for Christmas or the holidays, but it is very pretty. I want to show it to you. Another pretty Christmas tree here, with a big stuffed quaggan underneath. <laughs> big plush quaggan some huge gifts, whatever could be inside, and all these pretty snowflakes hanging off this tree, it's really nice, there goes someone on their sky scale, yeah, like I was saying, there's uh, quite a few different kinds of mounts 
so that's an event, like an instance thing that you can do with other players. It's kind of fun. There's a couple different modes for that. Look at the wings this person has. I'm just going to spend the entire time here just ogling other players because they're so cool. <laughs>
the snow drifting down. Now that thing was a roller beetle that just came cruising past. Roller beetles are very fast over smooth terrain, but not good when it's rough or hilly or bumpy. <laughs> and they're pretty hard to handle. They have a, a momentum to them that you kind of have to learn how to, to use. Cornering with them can be quite tricky. You kind of have to drift them around corners. This is a little plaza of Melandru. Melandru is the human goddess of the wild, the hunt. It's a pretty little fountain with a statue to Melandru here. surprise. 
surprising amount of detail into the city. Oh gosh. <laughs> the reason there are so many mounts uh, kind of flying past us right now is because we are on the race route right now. <laughs> so part of that mount race I mentioned earlier um, brings you down this thoroughfare. Got all these shops and stalls here. Very colorful. Oh, I think that's the guy we saw earlier. Wasn't it? The one who I wanted to chase, but it was too late. Didn't think we'd see him again. <laughs> here too, just the way they make it feel like such a, a huge sort of jumble of buildings built on top of one another. It really helps contribute to the sense of scale as well. We've got another one of those Christmas trees over here that you can uh, get a present from each day. So if we kind of come up this way, we'll wind our way up to the upper city. Actually, quickly, why don't we head over this way? I think we can get a kind of a neat look over, maybe, at the, uh... Oh no, never mind, it's one, sort of one section of the city over, but you can just make out sort of hovering in the clouds up there. Texas Infinerarium. Yeah, so I was saying before, um, Divinity's Reach is where the humans start. The Black Citadel is where the Chars start. If you start as a Silvari, which is, um, basically a plant person, they are kind of elven in some ways, but very much not in others. Um, rather than being an ancient and wise race, the Silvari are a very new race to Tyria. They appeared within the last, I think, 50 years or so of the game's history, the world's history. They're born from a tree, and uh, even though as a species they're quite young, they, um, they have a certain kind of wisdom because when each Silvari is born from the Pale Tree, um, it's born with memories that are shared with it by all the other Silvari that exist in the world. So uh, while the Silvari are in their kind of seed pods <laughs> before birth, or germination, <laughs> I guess maybe you would say, um, they, they sort of absorb bits and pieces of the experiences and memories of, of the Silvari who are out in the world. Anyway, the Silvari start in a place called the Grove, which is a beautiful plant city, basically made up of trees. Uh, it's got a bunch of levels to it. Oh, you're someone that looks pretty seasonal. Kind of, I'd say. That's very pretty armor. That's a Silvari, actually. We were just talking about a Silvari. Oh, man, she's gone. <laughs> this is a statue of, um, I think it's Duena, who's the human goddess of healing and, and mercy. I'm pretty sure that's who that is. city now. Oh my goodness. That was terrifying. Um, oh, I really like this area. Take a look. <laughs> just blasting by. We're not even on the race route now. People are just cruising through because it, this here, I love this like uh, aquarium tunnel. For the water water caustics on the ground, the reflections, and up on the ceiling. The way they move is kind of mesmerizing. And 
then this finally is what I really wanted to show you. This is the Upper City Plaza with this huge clockwork. I guess it's a solar system or something. I don't know. It's got all these representations of planets and moons and things circling about stars all kinds of stuff and then in the distance beyond those big stained glass windows back there that is the royal palace where her majesty queen jenna resides i love the design the level design the world design the art direction of guild wars 2 is just stunning um, it makes the areas just a joy to explore and experience it's nighttime right now as you can tell this is a big glass dome and uh, during the day it's all lit up but uh, we just happen to have got here at night so it's not well in my opinion not quite as spectacular at night time but it's still very very pretty oh bobbing out there floating in the, the distance outside the glass dome there's dix's infinerarium <laughs> haven't we covered yet uh, the Norn the Norn uh, begin their their um, adventures in Holbrack which is a great northern city full of these huge halls devoted to different spirits of the wild like bear and and wolf and and these sorts of things and then there's a great drinking hall there which is pretty cool Um, this uh, gate right here and I think this lake is actually back down to the Crown Pavilion where all those decorations are so why don't we head on in uh, yes here we are holy cow that is a brightly colored <laughs> raptor skin wow that's quite something and then, of course, the final race of the game is, the final playable race anyway, is um, the Asura, which are these little, the little ones that you see running around sometimes. Dix here is an Asura. Uh, they are kind of like gnomes in a sense. They are very technically adept, techno-magically adept. Isn't that cute? The plush griffin is freaking adorable. Oh, this jar here <laughs> has a real cute, cute hat on. Also very wintry looking. Colored for the season. Um, and these Asura, um, they have kind of a combination. 
conversations that other players have going on. Um, and of course, Guild Wars 2 does have this wonderful Winter's Day festival that is so festive and cheery. Um, I look forward to it every year. It's just one of those Christmas holiday season traditions that I love so much. It makes me uh, feel cozy. It's very nostalgic for me. Um, and if you would like to check out Guild Wars 2 for yourself, uh, like I said, uh, I do highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. There is an absolute ton of content that you can enjoy for free in the base game. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? This character. Um, I will, I'll put a link to where you can download the game and, and play it uh, down in the video description, but I'll, there's also a link to the Discord. Once again, we have uh, a guild that you are more than welcome to join. Uh, it is called the Tavern of Tingles. Our tag, our guild tag is ASMR. <laughs> and uh, it is uh, run by by members of this community, four members of this community, and of course I'm in it and I, I play with it as well. Uh, we get together and do guild events every once in a while. It's a great time, so please feel free to come join us. The Discord is the place to find out all about that. Just click on through and check out the Guild Wars channel there, the pinned uh, info, the pinned comments there will uh, tell you everything you need to join us. So, alright, thank you all once again for coming along today. I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse of Guild Wars 2 and this uh, little seasonal holiday wander here. I hope you uh, got in the, the festive mood here, if you weren't already. <laughs> Once again, happy holidays to all of you. All the best of the season uh, to you and your loved ones, um, those you hold dear. I hope that uh, you have a reinvigorating, restful, um, joyful holiday season. And uh, 